I think of the cavemen 40,000 years ago that crawled underground to be able to get to the cavern to paint. To me, painting is something that a person almost needs to do to express himself. His works reflect a singular form, illuminated and yet drenched in shadows. And so it's ethereal with a focus of a form that is not always quite in focus. This is a Night Watchman. I did go through a period, and frankly, I'm still in it, uh, where I love the oranges uh, and the reds. Uh, and I thought that uh, with a nice lot of texture, that this played pretty well with itself. But the paint's not real, the owl's not real, but it's the feeling that this painting will give you that's real. And you won't remember me, or you won't remember what I've said, but I think if you look at the painting, the eyes are something that you see. You're going to remember that because it's a feeling that the painting imparted. He has a wonderful sense of color, form, and texture, as you can see by looking at his works. This painting obviously uh, uh, was based upon a Picassoist and you probably would recognize these are some of the paintings. Uh, I'm not sure that if Picasso did these particular ones. The white uh, is a combination of plain white, and then I make a lot of my own colors. Uh, and some of the heavier stuff uh, you can see that's more coarse is white paint that I've made. He actually makes his own paints, which is really unique. Jim Cobb is an experienced artist. The true artist is only going to be judged by time. And you can think about people in the history that you would call an artist. And for every one artist, in my judgment, there's 100,000 painters. And so it's just something that it just seems to me a little too exciting just to say that I'm an artist. I, I, I think it's better to say that we're painters and some of us will be judged artists. Jim's works can be seen at Agora Gallery, 530 West 25th Street in the heart of Chelsea through February 7th and can also be seen online at artmind.com. Come and see the exhibition in person. You'll be delighted.